Hi, I'm Larry the Butcher. <laughs> and we're going to get to better know a craft. So today's a special episode, and no, it's not because it's episode 201 of Larry the Butcher. Daddy. Today is a special episode. I'm happy and sad at the same time. We're gonna get to better know a craft beer from the Brew Box. The Brew Box is a really cool service in which once, once a month in Ontario, you get a box of the equivalent of four liters of beer. It's really cool. I've enjoyed it. Um, the sad news is, this is my last brew box beer. So, my wife got this for me for Valentine's Day 2016. It has taken me 10 months to drink it all. Six months worth. I like the occasional beer, and, and I don't drink very, very often. We're gonna finish this off pretty good because I've enjoyed the last two beers from a Highlander Brewing Company. Uh, we've tried Blacksmith Smoke Porter, and we've tried Wee Heavy. So today, Highlander Stout. I'm I'm looking forward to this because um, Guinness is probably my favorite beer, and it is a stout. It is the stout. Um, and this this has characteristics like without even opening the bottle. It's a really cool bottle. I like the logo. Uh, they're located in South River, Ontario, which is about 40 minutes south of North Bay, which is about 40 minutes southeast of where we go to the cottage every year. Um, and I've enjoyed both beers. Um, their Wee Heavy had an IBU of 37, and I found that it was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. You guys have something really good going on up there, and I hope to come visit your facility in August. So they're, they're not a new, well they're fairly new. They're a fairly new brewery and um, they're big bottles. They're 650 mil and a 12 pack of 650s is $60. And you can order direct from them if you want. There'll be a link down below. Now the, the tag that the brew box gave me says it has a alcohol content of 5.9 and the bottle says 4.5. Which one is right? I'm guessing it's just this one. This deep brown and mocha foamed beer smells of coffee and dark chocolate with a full body and smooth mouthfeel, toasted malt, bitter chocolate, and a hint of oak come through on this very dry beer. So untapped, it's a website I've referred to a couple times. You know, when I was your age, we had to slice our own cheese. Here, close the fridge. Okay. Now. Now, guys, cheers to the brew box. Cheers to all the brew beers that I've tried. Some I've enjoyed, some I couldn't finish. This is for all of you. I need to get some like elevator music for when I'm pouring. Do -do -do. Yeah, that's what, lady from Ipanina? Well, it's dark, it's, it's really dark. Coca-Cola dark, there's no suds. I'm already disappointed. You say it's a stout, I expect Guinness-like action. It does smell hoppy. Well, guys, here's to the brew box. Here's to many more episodes of Better no craft beer. Cheers. It takes the moisture out of my mouth. It has a hop. It has an IBU. I, I have no doubt that it has an IBU because I'm getting that hoppiness to it. <clears throat> Nowhere near like. I think it have an IBU somewhere around. Somewhere around where we heavy did, like we heavy had like a 37 or a 39. I think this is somewhere around there. Fruity how so? Like passion fruit kind of? Because a lot of the beers were like, hey, it's got passion fruit in it. I wonder what a pineapple ale would taste like. I, I don't think you could call it an ale because beer has that rule where it can only be, you know, hops, barley, and um Huh? 
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love editing. Did you guys know beer existed in Mesopotamia? I believe mead, mead and wine were invented out there, too. I think the pineapple did something to my taste buds. It's affecting me right now. Maybe pineapple doesn't go on pizza. No, it does. It does. It really does. I was right! <laughs> I said maybe, and then it does. I think it's more a hamburger beer than a pineapple pizza beer. It's good. It's definitely worth going to be worth the trip to South River. And the head has that car caramel color to it, which is really cool. This would be good for marinating beer. Oh, beer. Marinating beef. No, hose head, you can't have any of my beer. Mm. Right. Have you guys met Indy? What? Say hi to Indy. Ah. Don't normally pick her up like this. Her heart's beating like a mile a minute. I come up. I come up. That's Indy. Uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> Indy is a German Shepherd Border Collie crossbreed. Her colors identical to a German, identical to a German Shepherd. Her size and her temperament is definitely Border Collie. Um, I kind of think we she's she gets a little frazzled when her claws get too big, but we have a crappy floor. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I, of course, am Larry the Butcher. It's been so awesome to go on this journey and explore all these beers from the brew box. I'm so glad I've had this opportunity. Um, and by all means, check out their website. The link will be down below. It might be a service you like. Um, and I'm not getting a commission or anything from them. But if you do get a brew box, sign up for like a, I think the minimum is like four months. Tell them Larry the Butcher sent you. Maybe they'll send some love my way. Maybe a free t-shirt. A free t-shirt would be awesome. Guys, could you send me a free t-shirt? I'm an extra large. Um, this has been great. And um, like I said, there's a lot of beers that I've tried these last 10 months that I never would have tried otherwise. Um, and I'm exploring more and more. And you will see in the coming weeks. Um, that I have a collection of beers that I would have never tried. And it's just so awesome. It brought your eyes, man. Man, look at the colors. Expand your mind, man. Down with, down with Whitey. No, not down with Whitey. Down with Whitey. Don't forget to like this episode if you liked it. Comment down below. Um, you know what I would love to do? I'd love to organize a motorcycle ride up to there. The problem is I'm still only an M2. <laughs> M1. I'm M1. M2. M2. I'll take my M exit this spring. Motorcycle ride up there would be cool. Get ten guys together. Go to Puasan and maybe go fishing. That would be really cool. Are you guys in? I'm in. Uh, what else do I need to say? Oh, subscribe to the channel right under right under my finger here. Share this on all your favorite social media. What's your favorite stout? Uh, mine is Guinness, but the, a lot of other ones that I've tried, like this Highlander, I will get this Highlander stout again. Oh, this, this, I think the pineapple's gone. This was like, wow, this is really good. <laughs> I'm getting more wow. Th this one is really wowing me. Like, this may have been the perfect one to end the brew box with. And that may be the title to this episode. see you guys later thank you so much we'll see you again and patronize your local craft brewer <laughs>